deemed a runaway, dumped on the side of the road. Now at 11, a twist in the mysterious death of this 15-year-old girl. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. For the first time tonight, only News 6 obtained the investigative report detailing Melanie Medina's final moments. News 6's Eric Sandoval is live at the Orange County Jail tonight with more on what he found out. Eric? Yeah, well, the man accused of dumping Medina's body is actually still here at the Orange County Jail tonight. But we found out her 16-year-old friend and her mother are actually helping investigators piece together what happened in this. Her friend tells investigators she was in love with her, while her mother says she had a rebellious teenager. 15-year-old Melanie Medina's mother told Orange County Sheriff's investigators she pulled her daughter out of school on April 6th and was sending her to live in Costa Rica because of her daughter's behavior. According to an investigative report into her death, it appears Medina didn't want to go. Investigators say she packed up all of her clothes, snuck out of her house, and drove off with her 16-year-old friend and 23-year-old Ramsey's Cruz Abreu. That friend told investigators that he brought them both to his apartment where they cleaned up drugs because he thought he was going to be raided by police. She says he then brought them to a drug deal at a nearby apartment where he handed her a gun and told her to shoot back if she needed to. She said they then drove to Krispy Kreme Donuts near the Mall at Millennia, and that's where she says the gun slipped out of her lap. She fumbled with it and unintentionally pulled the trigger, causing the gun to go off, according to the report. Investigators say a single bullet shot through the front seat, hitting Melanie Medina in the back seat, slicing through two of her main arteries. The friend told investigators she asked Cruz Abreu to take her to the hospital, but he refused. Instead, they dumped her body along this road. According to the report, Cruz Abreu told investigators he didn't call police because he didn't trust the system. Now, we found out that story about her packing up her stuff was actually backed up by a man who lives in Polk County. He evidently found that plastic container on his property. He found all of her clothes inside, and he even found her middle school ID. Keep in mind, that is 63 miles away from her home here in Orange County. We're at the Orange County Jail tonight. Eric Sandoval, News 6. Lisa? Eric, thank you.